London was and still is the melting pot in terms of creativity, whether it's art, fashion, music, architecture, from the South Bank to the Barbican Centre, which I still love to this day. For me, modernism is a great philosophy in terms of its desire to be reductive and pared back. At Land Rover, we have a, a design strategy which is very much based around four different themes. Modernist approach to design is one of them, as is relevance, as is sustainability. For example, we first introduced more sustainable materials on our Velab, and then most importantly, desirability. And for me, the desirability is the key. And that's at, right at the core of what Evoke is about. The new Evoke represents a progression. From the exterior, it's a bold evolution. It's become more sophisticated, it's become more refined, it's become more precise. But it is still the Evoke, it still has that unique character, that peerless, distinctive shape. The falling roof, the rising belt line, the overall visual robustness. That is Evoke. When you look at the inside, it's a transformation. This is where the modernist design approach really comes into play, where we've created this very reductive, very clean interior that creates this feeling of calm sanctuary. Land Rover started life designing vehicles for the country. Now we design vehicles for the city too. And the Evoke, of course, was designed for the city. You'll see the new one in every major city in the world. But for me, London is still the most desirable place to be.